I know it's early in the morning. Well, not for all of you. <laughs> uh, hopefully this is going up. I don't see anybody coming on, which means it may not actually be going live, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and work on it anyway. Uh, today is the 26th of August, 2021. And uh, I just got a message. Oh, there we go. Looks like we are. Thank you so much. I just got a message from an individual who's been watching the shortage problems around the country. And uh, they noticed that I was still talking about this as well because, you know, I, I can see it just, hello everyone. I can see it just by, you know, watching what's going on uh, while I travel. But also, uh, you know, people that are showing things on Twitter and uh, on Facebook, not Facebook, uh, uh, YouTube, etc. cetera. Uh, and plus, uh, you know, people that I know that work near the docks and things like that. So at any rate, uh, I don't just depend on one source, but at any rate, this person wrote me just a few minutes ago and said that now it looks like people are starting to blame the shortages not on the stockpiling by the box stores, not on the stockpiling by the government, uh, not on the shortages themselves because of the breakdown of the supply lines, the manufacturing, the transportation, etc. But people are starting to blame the shortages on, wait for it, wait for it, you can see this coming, on those of us who store food for emergencies. Did you, did you hear what, and, and I am sure this is IC driven. Uh, and let me give you an example of, of, of something else that they're doing, okay? And you'll see the correlation. And again, this has to be in veiled terms. Who are they blaming? Who are the people that receive the GMI or pushing the GMI? Who are they blaming for the spread of the quote unquote different strains and more people getting sick? They're blaming it on those who don't take the GMI. So now they're using the same tactic, but kind of in reverse, to blaming the shortages on those of us who are preparing. Do you see the correlation, how they're, they're coming at us from both directions? I explained to this individual that wrote me this morning, and uh, they were aware of it, and I've talked about it many, many times. I've been, I've been explaining this that this was coming, and 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 we've seen it happen even, you know, in the past uh, over preppers. You know, people saying that preppers, you know, they, they shouldn't have all this food stockpiled and whatever. Uh, the Mormon Church, as a matter of fact, uh, they don't like being called Mormons anymore, but that's tough luck. That's what I'll call them. The Mormon Church uh, rightly has encouraged their members to, to have at least. Uh, a year's supply of food, and that's been going on for a long time. I mean, probably even before I was born, they've been saying that. And smart people will do that anyway, right? Well, a few years ago, the church uh, had everybody inventory, or, or told everybody that they wanted them to inventory their food storage and then turn that information into the church. Well, you know where it ended up, right? Because the Mormon church is just another arm of the federal government, disguised as a religion. For control religion means regulation control so that's what they did well at any rate uh, you you all might remember that I've talked about this coming for some time back in 1988 I went through the army terrorism counteraction school and I've talked about this before even then they were setting the stage because one there isn't one definition of, of terrorism, there's many. There's one statute about it, but there's all these different definitions and they keep adding them. And I warned that they would keep adding these definitions into terrorism, like now, you know, if you suspect something about the election or if you don't want to take the GMI or you, you talk about it, you know, you're now considered a domestic terrorist, right? Well, back in, in that time when I was in the school, one of the definitions, and I've talked about it before, was that a person is a terrorist if they meet these three criteria. They own a weapon, firearm, they're self-employed, and guess what? If you have two weeks supply of food. Two weeks supply of food is really nothing. But by definition in the government, 
if you are self-employed, own a firearm, and have two weeks supply of food, you are a terrorist. So now we see that people are blaming the stockpiling or the shortages on those of us who store food, stockpiling food. I told you it was coming, okay? Uh, they're going to use that to add into all of the other things that they're trying to uh, accuse us uh, of domestic terrorism with. Okay? So I just wanted to pass that information on this morning. Uh, isn't it interesting? They won't blame it on you know, them shutting down the economy. They won't blame it on, on the economic wars that are going on against us. They won't blame it on the fact that they've laid, you know, millions of people off from work over this whole scam, right? Uh, no, they've got to blame it on those of us who saw this coming and were trying to prepare ourselves and our family for it. Not surprised. Yeah, I know, DHS told us to stockpile six months of food, but you see, that's a, that's a, that comes back to haunt you because I just gave you one of the government definitions of terrorism. So I agree with what DHS says, and it's either one, one, one hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing, or, you know, they're, they're just spouting this stuff so that people will do it, and then guess what? If you have those three things, you're self-employed, you uh, have two weeks supply of food and you have a firearm, you are by definition a terrorist. So now they're blaming the stockpile or the shortages on those of us who store food or stockpile. Okay? Not the government stockpiling, not the government shutting down the economy, you know, not, pe not, not the government uh, 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 putting people off work and paying them to stay home, et cetera, et cetera. No, no, they're blaming it on us. That's all I got for you. I got to go. Y'all take care out here.